how could the air become a black hole? For understanding this question, we have to analyze the concept of what a black hole is. Let's go! Black holes are objects characterized by one important scale, the even horizon. For the spherical symmetric case, the even horizon is given by the Schwarzschild radius, which is defined as two times the Newtonian constant multiplied by the mass of the source, in this particular case, the mass of the black hole. The black hole solution was discovered by Carl Schwarzschild, who realized that the Einstein's equations were easily solved under the spherically symmetric assumption. In his solution, it can be noticed that the even horizon scale emerged naturally. At the even horizon scale, gravity becomes really strong. But tell me, what happens if someone falls inside the even horizon of a black hole? Oh no, please help me, I am falling into a black hole. Oh sorry, I can't help you. Even if I try to help you, there is no way you can come back. Even worse, if I try to help you, I will be also trapped inside the black hole. You should know Nancy, if you cross the event horizon of a black hole, it is impossible to come back. Come on, Peter. Be a gentleman. No, I understand you, Peter. As Peter say, once you cross the even horizon of a black hole, there is no way you can escape from it, no matter what you do. So it's better you go away. Sorry for your friend Nancy, Peter. But how could then the air become a black hole? The Earth's radius is 6,371 kilometers. If we could compactify the total mass of the year inside a radius of only 8 millimeters, we would have a black hole. Let's assume, for example, that we compactify our planet to only 3 millimeters of radius. This would be for sure a black hole. But how can we know this? What is the key concept? The key concept is the even horizon. If we calculate the even horizon for the air, we would obtain around 8 millimeters. So think on the even horizon only, guys. Now we can revise the concept about what is a black hole. A black hole is basically any object with its own mass concentrated inside its own even horizon, no matter the size, no matter the amount of mass content of the object under analysis. But wait a minute, could then a person also become a black hole? This is certainly impossible. The reason is that for this to happen, the total mass of a person of around, let's say, 100 kilograms, would have to be compactified to a scale shorter than the scale of a quark. So, impossible. Don't worry, the ear will not become a black hole, and of course, the persons neither. Although possible in principle, there is no known trivial mechanism able to generate the necessary huge pressures in order for this type of compactifications to occur. Our planet is safe, don't worry. We are so lucky in observing our universe from a safe place like our planet. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel for getting more information and more videos like this.